a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello my wonderful people, welcome back to Reality Letters Just as we are giving a back-to-back -back update on information as it is hot. So if today now your first time to join this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. The headlines. The Edo Network of Lawyers asked the Economic and Financial Crime Commissions and police to freeze the bank account of the Edo state government ahead of the November 12th inauguration governor elect Neto Mondo Popolo. <laughs> I mean, we don't say Moving on after this, we have the Edo state governor, Godwin Obaseki, said he's very satisfied with his achievement. Well, guys, before we proceed, I would like to welcome all amazing subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for joining us on today's wonderful news. So, guys, let's proceed. To the main gist, the network of Edo lawyers asked the Economic and Financial Crime Commission and police to freeze the bank account of the Edo state government ahead of the November 12th inauguration governor elect Senator Mondo Bobul. The lawyer also found out the swearing in of a new accountant general by the outgoing governor Godwin Obasiki, alleging that that action was the plot to enable the administration withdraw more money from the banks. <laughs> My people love small big The FCC picked up the Edo Accountant General and two other officials last week following questionable last-minute withdrawals from the state account, a development which made the governor to swear in a replacement on Thursday. So in a petition to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the group of lawyers called on the Anti-Graft Agency and the Nigeria Police Force to freeze all Edo State accounts as Governor Godno Basiki has gone extra mile pulling out all revenues that belong to the state, six days to leave in office. The statement by the leader of the network, Barista Julius Ileka, claimed that these monies belong to Edo State and not to Governor Godno Nobasiki. He said no say Governor Godnobaski tried to use supplementary budget, <laughs> which the Speaker of Edo State turned him down. Now that Governor Godnobaski wants to clear the state account in all the banks by appointing a new accountant general, since the former accountant general is cooling off with the EFCC over suspicious withdrawal of over 14 billion last week. So now the group are saying that the rate to protect Edo State must be collective as one man cannot destroy the state because of his high appetite. That it is important that all security agencies and the good people of Edo State and Nigeria, they should join hands together to prevent this arbitrary looting of public funds. The Obasiki is not spending money on any transition process. So what does he need these billions of Naira for? <laughs> I mean, would not be small big girl. So right now, they don't give EFCC directive and police say me they freeze the government account. Um, if you guys can remember, Governor Godwin Obasiki say, the arrest of the accountant general of Edo State don't slow down most of his work. The Stella Basanjo Hospital, they have not completed it. So he's using the money to complete the Stella Basanjo Hospital before he will leave office. But right now, in the Christ day, <laughs> they don't slow down his work because they don't want to make him finish him. But right now, the Edo State lawyers are saying that they don't see anything where Governor God no basically they use money do. <laughs> so may the agency go freeze the account. They say the money Governor God no basically they spend no be money. Say the money belongs to Edo people. So they didn't see any reason why he's most concerned about the money. And right now, the group has found out the swearing of a new accountant general by the outgoing governor, Godwin Obaseke. <laughs> they say he want use that accountant general to clear all the money we Edo State get for account. But it no go happen. So I guess I go like me gonna chuck math for this matter. Me gonna tell me what you feel, what you think about this matter in our comment section. Let's make it live in our comment section. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The Edo State governor, Godwin Obaseke, said he is very satisfied with leaving office. Because he has taken a bold reform and project that have transformed critical areas of Edo State, including education, healthcare, and economic infrastructure and job creation. That all these reforms have improved people's livelihood and it has placed the state on the path of growth and economic prosperity. The governor said this 
when he led his Enugu state counterpart, Dr. Peter Mba, and the former governor of Sokoto State and senator for Sokoto South Federal Constituency, Alaji Aminu Tabua, and other dignitaries to commission various projects in Edo State. Some of the projects that was commissioned include the Bini Technical College and some internal roads within the college spanning over 12 kilometers, as well as the Edo State Educational Hub which houses the Ministry of Education, Directorate of Educational Quality and Accountability, Directorate of Higher Education, the State Examination Board, the Edo State Universal Basic Education Board, Library Board and Board of Technical and Vocational Education and Trainings, among others. So others are the event at the State Deputy Governor, Engineer Marvelous Godwin Omobayo, the Chief of Staff to the Governor, Osabuvo Iyoha, the Commissioner and other members of Edo State Executive Council, traditional rulers, and educational stakeholders. So at the Bini Technical College commissioning, Obasaki said his government has restored the people's hope. It has rebuilt Edo economy and empowered and equipped young people for the future. So he said this project is something he had to do because when he contested as governor of Edo State in 2016, he faced existential threats. The children they don't want to go to school, but they prefer to travel for greener pasture. The rate of irregular immigration and human trafficking was terrified for him. So at the time, over 30,000 young Edo boys and girls were in Libya trying to cross into Europe. Basuki said they have the data that they all can imagine how many died on their way there. So while campaigning, he promised to restore hope and did what politicians don't normally do, promising to create over 200,000 jobs. And by the special grace of God, they have surpassed that. Governor Gordon Basuki went ahead to say that the government or the civil service did not create this job as they focused on developing skills and training their young boys and girls in institutions like the Bini Technical School because they wanted hope and opportunities. That when he had dream office on November 12, 2016, he visited the Secretariat and was at the Bini Technical College the next day. So if he is to create 200,000 jobs, he need the institution to do this. But when he went there, what he saw when he came to the Bini Technical College, that he almost wept and committed to restoring and renovating this school as his priority. So he was glad that a week before his exit from office, he can see a rebuilt technical college giving hope to the thousands of young boys and girls that this is a greater joy and gift from God. As he is leaving office very satisfied, he came, he saw the state of the college and did his best to revamp and rehabilitate it. <laughs> Obasuki at the Commission of the Educational Hub said the facility is a testament to his government's revamp of the education sector. So he named the hub after Chief Tayo Akbata the foremost educationist and commissioner for education in the old Midwest state. He said today they are here to commission the Edo State Education Hub and this facility is like a summary of what they have done in Edo State. So right now my people Governor Godno Basuki said he had an outstanding time in office with various remarkable transformational projects which not only transformed the education sector but it has enhanced the learnability of the Edo people. So right now, my people, in the last eight years, Governor Godno Basuki has been planting and they hope that the young people of Edo State will reap from the bountiful harvest of his selfless work for Edo people. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, opinions are in our comment section. We would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, your winners. Bye for now.